Yo, what up guys? This is your boy Legendary here, or Judayuki, and today people, we are going to be doing how to build Yusei Fudo's deck anime version. So I'm basically going to be building uh, Yusei's deck from the anime, with a little bit of tweaks in there. There'll be some other cards that weren't used in the anime here, because like I said, in my rules, we can add anime cards, we can add manga cards, and we can add any cards that are within the archetype that he runs, which is like Synchrons, uh, in, in the manga he runs Junk Monsters. This will not be the junk deck profile, that will be another video entirely, but this will be, like I said, the deck that's more centered around his anime monsters and cards, for the most part. There will be two or three cards in there that aren't there, but other than that, yeah. But anyway, let's just hop right into it. So here's Yusei's deck. Um, we're running uh, Unknown Synchron and Junk Anchor for the tuners. Uh, there's only two tuners right now that I felt like adding in there because um, uh, if you activate the skill Mark of the Dragon Head, I believe, uh, you get Stardust Dragon in your extra deck, and then you also get two Junk Synchrons in there. Unfortunately, it's two Junk Synchrons and not one, so it doesn't follow my rules, but obviously it's a part of the skill and there's nothing I can do about it. So until we get one uh, copy of Junk Synchron for us to get, uh, we have to use that skill if we want to use Junk Synchron. And he's one of the best tuners, if not the best tuner inside Yusei's deck anyway, so you're probably going to want to use that skill. But anyway, so yeah. So that'll basically give you four tuners in total with the two Junk Synchron. And then we got Junk Servant. Uh, he special summons himself when you control a Junk Monster. We got Max Warrior, Rockstone Warrior. He'll give you tokens, I think, when he's uh, uh, destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, which is uh, good for single summoning. Then we got uh, Tricular, Bicular, and Unicycular. Uh, I mixed up the order here, but... So we got the Bicular series or whatever. So basically, you kill one and it brings out the other one so you kill tracular brings out bicular you kill out bicular brings out unicycular this will this is actually really good because it'll allow you to uh set up your graveyard with your low level monsters that you're going to need uh you know for to bring back with junk synchron and you know do your shenanigans and bring back with graceful revival and stuff like that for synchro plays so it's actually pretty good i'm really glad that they actually brought those in i was excited when i saw that they added those three in there because i'm like okay that's gonna be really helpful for synchro summoning and setting up your graveyard really fast uh then we got obviously speed warrior the classic and then finally fortress warrior uh he can't be destroyed by battle once per turn and i think you take no battle damage from battles involving him so he's a really great defensive card really he could help you stall out quite well then for the trap cards we got skill successor uh just for a little power boost uh skill successor is a little bit optional uh, you could swap that out for something out in the side deck if you want whatever you want it's up to you so I added that, you know, just for a little extra attack power. Um, then we got Wild Tornado. It's basically a Dust Tornado, but even better. Um, well, this is for face up spell and trap cards. And, and then if it's destroyed while being set, um, you get to pop uh, a face up card on the field, which is really good. Anyway, then we got Shooting Star. There's a bunch of starter support that came out in the Stardust Acceleration pack. Uh, don't worry about all that. So now just add, I would suggest only adding one Stardust related spell or trap card because um, right now there's not as much support to summon out Stardust as fast as possible. Uh, there's not enough of Yusei's cards to do that. Uh, so I would recommend only running one. So the rest of the Stardust cards will be uh, in the side deck, which we'll get into later. And then you could swap that out depending. I mean, you can add two if you want, but... Uh, you're not always going to have Stardust out on the field right away, so I don't want you guys to have a cloggy hand of Stardust cards, and then you don't have Stardust, and then you can't do anything. So I recommend just one Stardust-related card if you want to run this deck efficiently. Anyway, then we got Scrap Iron uh, Statue. Uh, this is a junk card. If you read the effect, it basically negates the spell a trap card and destroys it, I believe, and then it also it resets itself just like Scrap Iron Scarecrow. And uh, I think you can, uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon a junk monster from your graveyard. So you can bring back junk synchron, any of your junk monsters, including the junk synchro monsters from your graveyard, which will be really good. So uh, I added that in there for junk support. Uh, then we got uh, the classic defense draw for defense and drawing a card. We got spare force again for defense and adding junk synchron back to your hand or junk anchor back to your hand. Then we got graceful revival. This will allow you to bring back your level 2 or lower monsters like Unicycular, Bicular, Speed, Warrior, uh, and Junk Anchor, and Unknown Synchro. So you have a lot of targets for Graceful Revival. So don't be afraid to send your monsters to your graveyard because you will be able to bring uh, it back with Graceful Revival and stuff like that. So 
even Junk Synchron you can bring back with Spirit Force as well. Uh, then we got Double Summon to help you Synchro Summon a little faster, get two normal summons. We got Double Cyclone, this is the combination with Wild Tornado. You activate Double Cyclone, pop your Wild Tornado, pop an opponent's Spell Trap card, and then you get to pop a face-up monster on top of that. Then we got Half Shot, another really good defensive quick play spell card. Uh, unless you target a monster, you control uh, a target a monster on the field, half its attack, um, but it cannot be destroyed by battle uh, this turn. So yeah, it's a pretty good defensive card for you, and you can use that to cut your opponent's uh, monster in half. They won't be killed, but maybe if you're just trying to go for, for the final shot, then that's good. Then for the synchros, we obviously have uh, Junk Warrior, Gravity Warrior, which is act which is a a synchro monster that you say used in the manga so this is one of his manga cards so i added that in there um because you need a level six play in this deck uh, and then i got uh junk berserker right here he's a he's a really good as well very powerful 2700 attack you can banish a junk monster on the graveyard to decrease the attack of an opponent's monster by the banished junk monster's attack which is fantastic and uh Stardust Dragon. Um, if you guys are using the skill Mark of the Dragon Head for my for the dual video, do not use uh, two copies of Stardust because it gives you one copy of Stardust and two Junk Synchron. So don't add Stardust if you're using that skill. But if you're not using the skill and you're going to use a, a different USA skill, then uh, then you can add Stardust in there. But don't run one Stardust and then Mark of the Dragon Head gives you a second one. You are not allowed to use uh, two uh, two for you know if you want to do it against me if you want to do it by yourself that's fine but against me uh just one starter's dragon so anyway that's pretty much the main deck very simple very straightforward um it'll basically be a 42 card deck because of the two junk synchrons so that's that next we're going into the side deck real quick so we got a uh, card breaker uh i think he summons himself by popping a spell trap card you control i think that also works uh with uh, wild cyclone or no wild tornado as well which is really good Next, we got AD Changer. It's a level one monster. Uh, this card, you can manage this card from the graveyard to change the battle position of an opponent's monster on the field. So that's uh, that's pretty good. Uh, that'll, you know, if you send it to the graveyard, um, if you want to go for an OTK, your opponent is defending, then bam, banish it from the graveyard. It's basically like uh, the first effect of enemy controller. Yeah. So then we got Mirror Ladybug. Uh, it's a really unique card. I didn't add it in the main deck because it's kind of a uh, situational. It's like good first turn mostly. If you control at least one face up monster and no monsters in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. Um, and then I think it copies the level. Uh, I don't remember the effect that well, but basically in order to actually use him, you actually have to have no monsters in your graveyard and have only one monster on the field. So it's kind of very situational. It's a really good card if you get it off first turn. Um, but like it's just very situational so I, I added it in the side deck but it does have a lot of potential uh we got change your synchron right here if you're not running mark of the dragon head and you need an extra tuner just add a change your synchron in there replace something in there for change your synchron um and there you go then we got shield warrior for defense uh it's a level three as well we got card rotator uh this basically allows you to uh send the card from your hand to the graveyard basically discard something and then switch the battle positions of all monsters your opponent controls so if your opponent is defending or they have too much aggressive monsters just swap all their positions and that's it so that could help you get over stuff uh very easily uh we got junk barrage for you know some flame wingman damage obviously it's only half of uh, the damage of the destroyed monster we got fighting spirit and release restraint wave so if you want to try the release restraint wave combo just add junk barrage and fighting spirit in there along with release restraint wave if you want to try that combo out and you you could take out whichever three cards in the main deck you feel if you want to try out that combo and destroy your opponent's back row you can do that we got Stardust shimmer uh which is basically a monster reborn for Stardust dragon i didn't add it in the main deck because like i said this deck is not fully focused on summoning starters it can obviously but it's not focused on it it can't pop it out like turn one unless you get a really good hand so i wouldn't recommend running like i said too many starters related cards then we also have Cosmic Flare and Stardust Flash, two other Stardust cards, very powerful cards. Uh, Stardust Flash allows you to bring Stardust back from the graveyard, and Cosmic Flare allows you to target the Stardust when it attacks. At the end of the damage step, return the monster to attack back to the hand, and then uh, it banishes itself from the graveyard instead of using Stardust's effect to, ne to negate destruction. So it's really good. Um, they're good. Like I said, only run one, but if you want to run two, go right ahead. This is your deck. You know, you don't have to listen to me. If you think 
you could run two or three or whatever and the deck still works, then by all means, be my guest. I am perfectly okay with that. I'm just saying for the anime style deck right now, until we get more UC support, I don't think adding too much starter support in the main deck is a good idea because there's it's just not focused enough. Maybe once we get the Breeze Dragon and other cards that we need to summon starters faster, that's when I'll start adding more uh, starters related spell and trap cards into the main deck. But for now, that's that. So we got Synchro Strike also for more attack power. You could also replace this for Skill Successor if you want. Uh, but this only powers up Synchros and Skill Successor powers up anything, you know, just in case if you don't have a Synchro on the field. Uh, anyway, Synchro Barrier, Tribute of Monster. You take no bio damage until the end of the next turn. So that's really good, really defensive. That could help you stall for like a good turn. And then we got Remote Revenge. Uh, this this card would be really good against, I think, Judai and A yeah, especially Judai. Like if you uh, if he uses Plasma Vice or Necro Shaman on you, basically it um, if you're tar if a monster you control is targeted by an opponent's spell trap or monster effect that destroys one monster on the field, switch that target to an appropriate monster your opponent control. So it basically redirects the destruction. So if, if they're trying to destroy your junk warrior with a plasma vice or whatever, you can direct it to another monster you control. So pretty handy. No, to a, another monster your opponent control. So you can make it destroy. I think you can make it destroy that same monster that used the effect, but I'm not sure. But anyway, that's the side deck. Very simple, very straightforward. We're about to get into the skills real quick. So for the skills, um, we have a reinforcements. This will help you add a random warrior monster from your deck to your hand. There are not that many warriors in the main deck. I think there's only Junk Anchor. Oh, no, that's not true. There's a, yeah, yeah, there's Speed Warrior, Junk Anchor, Junk Servant, and Max Warrior, and uh, Fortress Warrior. Those are, and then the two Junk Synchrons. So there's a few targets for that, which is really good. Uh, that could hopefully you'll get lucky and then pull out the right warrior you need at the right time. So, it, you know, it's, it is a little random at times. Um, but yeah, then we got Mark of the Dragon Head. Obviously, I already described what you do with that skill. Uh, then we got level tuning. I don't have any of these other skills below yet. So, uh, can be used if your life points are 2,000 or below. Select two monsters on your side of the field. Declare a level uh, between one and four. The selected monsters level become equal to the number you declare. This skill can only be used once per duel. This will allow you to go for basically... Uh, right now there's no level 4 synchros but this will allow you to go for level 6 synchros and uh, level 5 synchro and no and level 8 synchros level 6 and 8 synchros for the time being um, which is really good um, it, it could allow you to go for the for the for the 5 and the and the 7 as well if you, if you have a third monster that has a different level but anyway that's what that's for that's also a really good skill for XC something unfortunately I don't think we'll have that when Zale comes out anyway then we got level duplication, reveal one monster in your hand and select one monster on, on your side of the field. The selected monster's level will become equal to the level of the monster you revealed. This skill can only be used once per duel. So yeah, basically kind of similar to level tuning, but you don't have to summon the monster in your hand yet. And then, yeah, I think level duplication is a little bit better because it might help you uh, manipulate what monsters you have on the field a little bit better uh, before you... Yeah, I just think it'll be better. I don't know how to explain it, right? But yeah, I think it's a little bit better. Then we got le level augmentation. Remove a monster in your hand. Select the monster in your side of the field. The selected monster's level is increased by the monster you've revealed. The skill can only be used once per duel. So just if you have Junk Synchron in your hand, no, on the field, and then you have, uh, let's say, for example, if you have, let's say, a level one. If you have Unicycler in your hand, you reveal Unicycler. Unicycler, uh, no, Junk Synchron gains one level so he'll be a level four then you summon unicycler go for junk warrior something like that or you know the same for fortress warrior you show that it become it gains two levels it becomes a five you summon fortress warrior you can summon junk berserker so that's pretty much more or less how it works we got draw sense low level basically allows you to add a level four lower monster so pretty much your entire your entire main deck because there are no high level monsters in this deck so you'll always be able to draw something you need if you use that skill uh, of course, it will be random, of course. Uh, then we got Attack Booster, Synchro Warriors. Until the end of the turn, Warrior Synchro Monsters on, on your side of the field gain 100 attack times their level. The skill can only be used once per turn. So, basically, you know, Junk Warrior, Gravity Warrior, and whatever other Warrior Synchro Monsters, they'll gain attack equal times their level. So, Junk Warrior will gain 500 attack. A Gravity Warrior will gain... Um, 600 attack, you know, just a little extra boost, and that's once per turn, so that's pretty cool. 
but yeah those are pretty much the skills very simple and straightforward so that's the deck for you guys this is the anime style i will be doing a junk a pure junk turbo build for that since a lot of junk monsters came out in the synchron connector structure deck i'll be making that at some point some other time but for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys will have fun using yusei's deck i still have to unlock a lot of cards to actually build this version of the deck i don't have the full deck yet but uh no worries we will get there just uh thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it thank you guys for everything god bless you guys um let me know what other uh decks you uh want to see me do next of how to build uh on dual links and whatnot um i will be doing all of them anyway at some point or another but if you guys want to request something specific that you want to see soon then let me know anyway god bless you guys thank you guys for everything gotcha